get in here. Um, oh, do you know what? I'm going to give this Death Nail deck another spin. And then we'll build something, maybe some Songhai nonsense. Oh, this will be interesting. We've become the first one to see it in the history of Duelist. I had an amazing turn the other day. My opponent had a Juggernaut in play. They double flashed a Juggernaut, so 4-6. Uh, I played Grasp of Agony on it. I attacked it with a Wraithling. I attacked it with a 5-3 Mobius, and then Nether summoning the Mobius and the Juggernaut. And uh, that was one of the best turns I've ever had. Alright, this is decent. Grasp is like... Okay against heal line art. It's good if they have a good, uh, strong tempo opening. This is amazing. It's our best turn one play. This is a liability. This is great. It's probably how we win. I guess I keep this. We can replace this aggressively if my opponent doesn't play into it. Oh boy, Songhai nonsense. Yeah, definitely. So, one thing I really want to try is, um, I mentioned earlier this uh, Ghouli Adjudicator deck. Do we want this? We might want this. We probably want this. Okay, so this this is getting replaced if my opponent doesn't play 2-2 two, two drops this turn. She didn't. Come on, Demonic Lure. Cryptographer is also good. Um, are we able to play Blue Conjurer for value? No, we can just we can just play it. It might get martyrdomed, which would be sad, or Sunbloomed, which would also be sad. Um, we can dark fire out an Archon. We can go move here, move here. That uh, play the cryptographer here. No, none of this works. I do quite like playing the Archon in the middle. That's pretty decent. Maybe it's better just to like cycle Sphere of Darkness. Um, Probably just on this mana tile so my opponent doesn't have an easy time. <clears throat> Take this with something. Oh, I don't really have anything good to do. Is this deck full of memes or half meme? It's like it's half meme, but the way it wins is like pretty epic. I'll tell you what, let's just Let's jam out a blue conjurer and just see if she kills it. Um Actually, let's do this. This way we get an Arcanist guaranteed. Um, although it was bad. <clears throat> the Celebrant's a liability, especially as it lets my opponent deal herself damage next turn. Gonna need to see some full memes, sir. Well, let's see if I win. Um, this is not, not the best opening I could have hoped for. He says, having played Blue Conjure on turn 2. Okay, this is fine. We can deal with that. Okay, so now we can play Archon and Shadow Spawn. The Archon is big enough to not die to the Regalia alone. We might take a bunch of damage from it, which would be sad. We can also play Night Shroud, which doesn't do a lot, I have to say. Um, are we able to play Shadow Spawn and Sphere of Darkness? Because we can take we can take a charge off with the Sphere, but maybe I'll keep that for a turn where we just go all out on it. Yeah, let's try and get my opponent to kill this. You can go over there to contest the monotile. Draw more cards. Draw more cards. <laughs> and obviously I'm not going to attack. Is this Mimi enough yet? Turn 2 Blue Conjurer, turn 3 Archon. On the play. <laughs> this is great. This is why I love this deck so much. This I was I was talking on Discord like before the set came out about Death Nail and someone mentioned playing like someone said something like, Oh, if you're playing Death Nail, you probably want to play Archons just so and just get value. And I saw I put some Archons in and obviously I put Darkfire Sacrifice in because I'm playing an expensive combo deck. And wow <laughs> Like Darkfire Sacrifice sacrificing out these and these is just nuts. This is great as well, because if my opponent wants to kill this with a spell, it takes our entire turn. Also, we just drew a Demonic Lure, I just realized that, so we can kill this and draw a card. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you don't like that Conjurer, do you? <laughs> this is great.
of this. This is interesting, actually. Because my opponent played the, uh... Oh my. That's very scary. Because my opponent played the Regalia, she wasn't able to trigger the Sunforge Lancers. Okay, this actually... This sucks a bit. Because uh, now we need to get rid of both of them. We definitely don't want this Kaleno for a while. Night Shroud. That'll help us get rid of the Regalia. We can move over here, play Night Shroud. Demonic Lure. Kill a Lancer. Night Shroud takes a charge off the Regalia. Um... We can also come over Sphere of Darkness and attack this. That puts us near the Sunforge. Um, we have to, we're going to have to make space in our hand for that, though. Running away is probably better, to be honest. Nitroid Liability. Not yet, because we're still on full health. So actually, at the moment, it's okay. Um, ooh, if I put the Arc on here, it can catch the... Lancer next turn. Wait, the Nitro only deals two damage, doesn't it? We could we could just run in the Wraithling. Let's just run in the Wraithling. We'll put the Arc on here, that's good enough. I'm gonna run away. We'll play this. Uh, put this guy in the corner. Kill this with Arc on. Drawing more cards. Go ahead. My god. So we've got three big Arcanists in play, and my opponent's... And we still have a full hand. And my opponent's got a... You know, this is obviously a massive strategic threat, but... We're doing alright. We're doing alright. She can kill the Conjurer, but it relies on plowing in the healing mistake. And we're safely out of range. This could be a Holy Immolation... A Lightbender? Sunriser. Okay, there we go. Here comes the nonsense. So, healing this stick? As a herald, sure. Right, and then you can smack the Archon. <laughs> that keeps the blue conjurer alive. That does leave my opponent with a lot of stuff on board and us with nothing, which is a bit sad. Um, right, we definitely don't need another one of these anytime soon. Lure is good, that kills this. Um, can we get rid of the... <clears throat> the regalia. We can if we... We can Sphere of Darkness and Night Shroud. That's fine. Uh, we're sort of backing ourselves into a corner a bit here, so we're probably going to want to bring the Conjurer out. I guess we kill the Lancer over the Sunriser. It's a bit awkward. Oh wait, we don't have the mana to play Sphere of Darkness and Night Shroud. <clears throat> So maybe I just need to, like, drop a big Arcanist. Or even just play, like, the Chakri Avatar. It's enough of a threat. Kindling's bigger. Let's play that instead. Nice to have a 4-5. We can do, like... No, let's play... The, the Kindling's more mana efficient. Because I'm not playing the Sphere this time. Bring this over here. Kill it. Good. Okay. So we can banish this next turn before it gets to me. We're still in full health as well. That's not bad. We're like quite far ahead on resources. My opponent's got something of a tempo lead. Like we're sort of backed into a corner which I obviously don't like. Um, but we've got... We can clear our way out of this. Like, she has to kill this. So this might be a circle of life, I guess. I mean, that takes a turn, though. We take one. Yeah. So we can banish the Sunraiser. We do need to get rid of this Regalia, though. Um, okay. Kindred Hunter's pretty good. Seems nice. So what? Chakri Nightshroud Sphere? Well, we have to get rid of this first, I think. We can, like, Nightshroud Ritual Banishing, but that doesn't do a lot.
I guess we can attack. I don't really want to do that, but it's an option. <laughs> oh, card advantage. Other options. We can just do we can do Kindred Hunter and Ritual Banish the 3-3, three, three, and then we can Sphere and Attack. That leaves me with... That fills up my... That overdraws me. I'd rather have a Night Shroud in the Pool of Dead Things if I was going to. So the only downside with doing that is we have to attack my opponent, which puts me in range for a lot of hurt. But let's go for it. How... Get rid of that thing so we don't die. Mind Warper, that's pretty good. Okay, this might be where the Holy Immolation comes in. There's so much value. Yeah, the only downside is we don't have enough mana. We need another, we need another Darkfire Sacrifice. Oh, we drew another one of these, that's good. Both is not too bad. I'm quite happy for my opponent to spend a turn not doing too much. Ow. Sure. Okay. Well, we can clear these. We can kill this with Ritual Banishing. Um, and be in basically a safe spot. That's good. That's very good. Okay. Where do we start? So I think we deploy... How much mana have we got? We can do this, 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 this. Or we can do the Chakri. Mind Warper uses up too much hand space. I think getting the Chakri down now seems good. and surround my opponent for one. Oh, we need to play the Sphere of Darkness as well, don't we? So I can play this. No, we have to do Bloodborne Spell. Hopefully this makes something cheap. Ooh, that's really good. Actually. Kill this. Double four wins, that's really good. Yeah, we mill some stuff, but that's not too bad. I'm just gonna dark fire sack that now. Um What? Triple four wins. That's beautiful. Okay, we have we we literally can't hold all this value. Uh so hopefully this guy doesn't get dispelled, but that's not too bad. Two my guy, three my and an Albi stage. We're just playing Arcanist Song High now, folks. <laughs> I mean, we don't have any spells in hand, but that doesn't... Oh, yes! Give me that six health. We need that. Gonna martyr them that as well? Lucy Beam. Ugh. So, <laughs> the light chase is now really awkward. Um, because we... The four winds magi make it worse for us. However, Owl Beast Sage is probably here to save the day. Right, we can replace one of these. Punish, that's good. Um, I didn't even get three Mega on Songhai. I know, right? Um, let's start with. Monsieur Albeast. Mind Warper. Yes! <laughs> Get wrecked! <laughs> Sack carries over. Yes, unlike Flash Reincarnation, Darkfire Sacrifice lasts until the next turn. Play Mind Warper and Immolation it. I, I, I think I've done that before. Like my, I haven't played it on the Mind Warper, but I've Mind Warped Immolation. Um, my favorite one, though, was uh, my opponent played Trinity Oath and I cast Alcuin Lawmaster. That was so good. 
So we know one of the cards in hand is um, the Martyrdom, which we really don't care about very much. Blood tear? Oh, oh, right. Well, we can punish that, I guess. Um, and start dropping the four wins. We definitely don't want Kalino. Crypto's pretty good. Um, yeah, I think I think the punish is good here. This is brilliant. I know, right? I, I'm having so much fun right now. You have no idea. Alright, so we'll put this... I want to make sure I don't get wrecked by immolation. Um, if my opponent happens to be holding it. Do I, how much do I want to protect this four wins? Like, if she plays Sunforge Lancer... I kind of want it to be able to get into combat and die. So I'm going to put it right up close. Punish this thing. Um... Oh, the Mind Warper doesn't even have to die. That's brilliant. In that case, let's just make some Wraithlings. Get some more healing and damage in. Oh. <laughs> so, when we eventually draw a Death Knell, this is going to be so good. I can't remember if there's a third blue Conjurer in the deck. There might only be two. Um, in which case, that's sad because we milled one of them. Although there is other draw. I think there's there might be spell jammers. There's some other... Yep, that's fine. And there's the Martyrdom. Circle of Life, okay. Oh, he Trinity Oathed again, alright. Pretty impressed that we're keeping up with double Trinity Oath from the uh, from the Lion R player here. So we can either play Archon Four Winds, or we can play... Actually, I like Archon Kindred Hunter, that seems really good. Let's just get really aggressive. You run Rev or just Nails? Just, uh, just Death Nails, I think. I wanted to make space, thank you. Um, I wanted to make space for more Arcanists and Synergy. Like, this deck is primarily an experiment. Question is, do I replace the Four Winds? Oh, baby. Let's do that. That does nothing. Well, I say that, that's actually pretty good, because we can heal the Archon with it. No. <laughs> one day death now. One day. Oh yeah, that's a thought. That's how we can get um, our blue conjurer back. Just play a death now. Oh wow. She must have double double heal ability then. I mean, that's the entire turn. Yeah, Imo is like bad here. I mean, I was hoping this would spawn somewhere else, but like, ideally it spawns there. I mean, we're immune to immolation, but this looks like a just two heal abilities. I mean, that trades with... Ha! <laughs> Clever. But we can still just kill the Sunriser now. On board, which is pretty nice. Stop it. Well, our hand kind of went somewhere, which is a bit annoying. I'm going to put this in the back now. You need to change your Twitch name. I was like, well, Earth is scroll. Yes. Oh, there we go, finally. Um, I So the reason I have a different name on Twitch is because uh, technically Son of Makuta is like someone else's copyright, right? It's a Bionicle reference. Um, and I'd been using a squirrel on Steam for a little while. Um, that was taken, so I changed it to Apocalyptic Squirrel because it rolled off the tongue. We kind of need to get rid of that, although... Ritual Banishing? Punish. It's too far away to punish. I guess we just jam Death Knell. Kill this. Where can I play Death Knell to get maximal value? I've made a slight positional error, because I can only get six minions off of it if I play it here. Or here. Can I... I can go there, there we go. If I go up here, put the death nail up top. 
We'll get seven minions off it. Conjurer, Conjurer, Conjurer. Conjurer. Double four wins. I'll be stage. <laughs> trigger, 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 trigger. <laughs> In case it wasn't clear, the Conjurer made another death knell. Uh, so, even if she has Decimate, this is still great. Breath into Punish. Oh yeah, I didn't think of that. Boo. That would've been good. Three mana Sunbloom. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Is it gonna kill me? No. It's a pretty good thing for it to hit, though. Yeah, breath, breath into Punish seems good here. Thanks for that. Um, what else can we do in the meantime? We can attack, obviously, with just this guy. Get some more spell value. Breath of the Unborn with Albi stage is so good. Look how much health. Oh, he got dispelled, didn't he? Oops. Oh well. <laughs> I never got to play the second death knell. I was kind of hoping my opponent would have the decimate, just so we got to got to do it. I confession, when I was testing, I kept coming back to this deck, not because I thought it was too not because I thought it was good, but because it was I was having too much fun with it to stop playing it. Um, it's one of the most fun decks that, Oh, we haven't had a quest? Awesome. It's one of the most fun decks I've ever played in Duelist. It's wonderful.